The almighty Huawei Mate 40 Pro finally has some competition in the Android 5 nanometer process note segment, and that is the Xiaomi Mi 11, the first smartphone to house Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 888 chipset. The Snapdragon 888 powered Mi 11 is built on 5 nanometer process node tech, the same tech in which the Kirin 9000 powered Mate 40 Pro is using. Other than that, they have pretty similar specs on paper. They both have 8 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM and UFS 3.1 storage. However, the Xiaomi is running MIUI 12 skinned over Android 11, while the Huawei is still on Android 10. We have maxed out the resolutions on both devices to QHD+, and we will be using the max refresh rate 120Hz on the Mi 11 and 90Hz on the Mate 40 Pro, with battery optimizations disabled for all the apps on both devices. We'll also be leaving the intended animation scales on full times on both devices over here, and we have performance mode enabled on the Huawei Mate 40 Pro. Round 1 will be all about boot, fingerprints, and face unlock. Round 2 will be about initial open of app speed and round three will be all about RAM management. We're using my fingers over here so to keep things accurate we're going to be popping GoPro footage to the bottom left hand corner. I'm super excited to see which five nanometer process powered smartphone will come out on top. This is Technic and without further ado let's go. We're starting in round one with a simple boot to see which one can power on quickest. It is indeed the Huawei Mate 40 Pro picking up its first point in round one with 21 seconds, two seconds quicker than the 23 seconds on the Xiaomi Mi 11. Now going into the home screens of both devices over here, the Huawei was once again quick over there and testing the optical fingerprint sensors found underneath the displays of both devices over here, the Huawei was quicker the first two times and once again quicker the third time picking up its third point in round one. You gotta remember we're focusing on when you see the wallpaper, not so much when you actually see the App icons. So disregard the animations over here, the Huawei Mate 40 Pro is once again quicker with its 3D facial recognition system as opposed to the 2D one on the Mi 11. Finishing off round one with four points toward the Mate 40 Pro as opposed to zero on the Xiaomi Mi 11. Making sure that the apps were all closed in the background over there. Same Wi-Fi, max brightness performance mode on on the Huawei. The Huawei opened up the first two system apps slightly quicker than that of the Xiaomi, that being the settings app and the calculator app. Next app that we'll be jumping into over here is the camera app. And going into that one, it is very, very close, but the Xiaomi Mi 11 was a tad quicker than the Mate 40 Pro. Also, once again, quicker at switching to the selfie cam. So it's now two points apiece on both devices. The Huawei actually took the snap slightly faster, but the Xiaomi saved its gallery quicker, so no point was allocated that time round. Going into the actual gallery over here, the Xiaomi was a tad quicker that time. Going into the photo, the Xiaomi was quicker at opening it up, but the Huawei was quicker at loading the whole page. So once again, no point allocated over there. Going into Adobe Photoshop Express, it is clear to see that that the Mi 11 was a couple seconds, well, a couple milliseconds quicker than the Mate 40 Pro, but a few seconds quicker when going into the actual picture, picking up its fifth points as opposed to the two on the Mate 40 Pro. Going ahead and saving these pictures to gallery, however, the Mate 40 Pro's UFS 3.1 storage quickly trumped the Mi 11's UFS 3.1 storage, picking up its third points over there, saving it to gallery quicker than that of the Mi 11. Going into Adobe Premiere Rush over here, the Mate 40 Pro went into the app quicker, but the Mi 11 opened up the project quicker, so now six points for four toward the Xiaomi Mi 11. I'm gonna go ahead and export this 4K 25 frames per second clip. We're going to compress it down to 1080p, match the frame rate of 25 frames per second, sped it up bottom right hand corner and slowed it back down. The Huawei did it in 11.5 seconds as opposed to the 13 seconds on the Xiaomi Mi 11. Now six points for the Xiaomi as opposed to five on the Huawei Mate 40 Pro, just a one point difference between the two phones. Going into Spotify, it was way too close to call, so no point was allocated that time around. And going into Astral VPN, which one can open Open up this VPN quicker since we need a VPN here in China. The Mate 40 Pro was the winner over here, now matching points with the Mi 11 at six points apiece. Turning it on was too close to call and going into Google Chrome, the non-centric Google device, the Mate 40 Pro actually opened that one up quicker, taking the lead for the first time in this test with seven points as opposed to six. Going into Facebook, once more, the Mate 40 Pro opened up our first social media app slightly quicker than that of the Mi 11, picking up its eighth point, now two points ahead of the Mi 11. Going into our next social media app, which is Instagram, it was way too close to call. I pondered on this one for so long, but it was just too close to call between the two devices, no point allocated over there. Going into Twitter though, it was clear that the Mi 11 opened that one up a tad quicker now with seven points, just a one point gap between it and the Mate 40 Pro. And going into YouTube, once again, the non-Google centric Mate 40 Pro opened it up quicker. Which one can go ahead and find my channel quicker over here? We have to look for the channel on the Huawei, so I'm matching that on the Xiaomi since I can't log into my Google account on the Mate 40 Pro. The Mate 40 Pro found me quicker, so 10 points for the Huawei as opposed to seven on the Xiaomi. Now, 
11 after going into my actual channel quicker over there and jumping to the video the Huawei was quicker at opening up the video playing it quicker and loading the whole page quicker now picking up its 12th point with a five point lead over the Xiaomi Mi 11. Jumping into Netflix over here the Xiaomi Mi 11 was a tad quicker picking up its eighth point and going into my profile it makes it nine points now just three points away from the Mate 40 Pro. Can it catch up before the round two ends? Going into our first benchmark over here which is Geekbench 5.2.5 five it was too close to call when opening the actual benchmark up so no point was allocated over there running through it sped up bottom right hand corner the xiaomi was quicker two minute 34.5 seconds as opposed to two minute 36 seconds on the huawei the xiaomi had a higher single core score and the huawei had a higher multi-core score very interesting now i'll give the point to the xiaomi since it actually finished through the test quicker there so just two points between the two devices once again the next benchmark app of ES testing out the gpu this time around which is 3d mark will be running through a quick wildlife bench test of here not the stress test Going through this one, we're gonna speed it up once more bottom right hand corner and see which one can get through it quicker and which gets the most points and frames per second. It is indeed the Huawei with one minute and 10 seconds as opposed to one minute and 24 seconds on the Xiaomi. And we got 33.2 FPS on the Xiaomi as opposed to 39.6 on the Huawei. That is a massive frames per second difference between the two, considering that the chipset in the Huawei does have a higher clock speed, though I'm not surprised that front round. Going into Subway Surfers, our first game over here. Which one can take it? It looks like it's going to be the Huawei, and it is indeed the Huawei, now with a five-point lead over the Xiaomi Mi 11, running that wonderful new five nanometer process node tech Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 chipset. Going into Temple Run 2, it now furthers the gap adding an extra point there now with 16 points as opposed to the 10 on the Xiaomi. So now a six point gap, the biggest that we've had in round two so far, going into our second last game, second last app of the 20. Going into Among Us here, surprisingly, the Mi 11 opened this one up quicker, picking up its 11th point, now back down to five points below that of the Mate 40 Pro. No way that the Xiaomi can come back and take over the Mate 40 Pro since we only have one game left in round two over here. Which one can open up PUBG Mobile quicker than the other? Sped it up bottom right hand corner. It is indeed the Huawei Mate 40 Pro with 20 seconds over there as opposed to 21.5 seconds on the Mi 11. Wrapping up round two with 17 points on the Huawei as opposed to 11 on the Xiaomi with a six point lead there for the Huawei. Going into RAM management over here, we're talking about round three, we have eight gigs of RAM on both devices, LPDDR5 RAM on both devices over here, so we shouldn't have any issues and we did disable all of these apps in terms of battery optimization, but the Huawei has kept three apps open now so far where the Xiaomi has killed them. Now it's four after going into Spotify, going into Astral VPN, they both kept that one open. Same thing with Chrome, five points now for the Mate 40 Pro, six points now for the Mate 40 Pro. Instagram now with seven points, this is insane. Xiaomi have really not addressed the issue when it comes to RAM management. I've tried everything, I've tried disabling MIUI optimizations in the developer options before. I've tried disabling optimizations for each individual app. Of course, if you lock these apps, it can keep them stored, but you won't be able to lock so many apps. So keeping 20 apps open in the background shouldn't be a problem for either of these powerhouse devices. But bear in mind that the Huawei does cost a hell of a lot more than the Xiaomi. It's still no excuse that the Xiaomi is still poorly optimized when it comes to RAM management. Though surprisingly, the Xiaomi keeps its last three games open over here, including Among Us and PUBG Mobile. It still ends with a win to the Mate 40 Pro with 12 points in round three as opposed to zero on the Mi 11. Total score here, 33 for the Huawei Mate 40 Pro as opposed to 11 on the Xiaomi Mi 11. No pun intended if we focus just on raw performance. Focusing on round two here when it comes down to speed, 17 on the Mate 40 Pro as opposed to 11 on the Mi 11. I guess we're going to have to wait and see with that Xiaomi Mi 11 Pro launch imminent. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. A sub to the channel would be fantastic. Until next time, this is Technic.